Перистолтична помпа само би могъл през цялото време на операцията да работи с едната или двете помпи или пък би могъл да ги сменя мигновенно според необходимостта. Тоест, ако имаме една клиника с много хирурзи, чието техники се различават, този апарат би могъл да отговори в най-голяма степен на различните хирургични техники. Както казвам, I'm a specialist in uh, vitreous and retina surgery uh, for the last uh, 30 years almost, unfortunately. <laughs> the most common interventions are retinal detachments, which is a sudden loss of vision for the patient, which occurs quite uh, frequently, mostly in uh, myopic patients. And another uh, very common uh, disease is diabetes, which is a disease that is really in progression in numbers and it is uh, also often uh, surgical complications and uh, we have to perform especially here in this kind uh, of uh, settings uh, a lot of uh, diabetic vitrectomies. The problem indeed is that it's a quite complicated uh, surgery and it uh, demands a lot of training for the doctors who are performing them but on the other hand there is also a lot of equipment involved and this equipment is rather expensive and also each uh, surgery is a certain cost involved and indeed it is quite uh, expensive surgery it is not a, a routine uh, kind of surgery uh, fortunately there are, there are a few places in the country here where this kind of surgery can be done and uh, my work is uh, exclusively done here in Sofia in a vision clinic. Mm -hmm. But we are very well equipped and we can do, we have a good standard of, of work and we can do quite complicated cases uh, over here. But unfortunately there is a lot of uh, training, a lot of people and a lot of material and technicity involved. And of course fortunately there is a big progression and there is a big improvement in the materials that we use and in this way the quality of surgery is improving as well as the kind of cases that we can uh, help with this kind of surgery. The biggest problems throughout Europe in terms of ophthalmology are related to aging and particularly we have a condition AMD and the vast majority of AMD has not been treatable by drugs. So we've now developed a, a very special laser which has very, very short pulses of light which do not damage the light sensitive cells in the eye but produce a change in the biochemistry whereby effectively the nutrients coming from the bloodstream are rejuvenated. So in a 60, 70, 80 year old we send them back to their 20s. The most common problems are at the back or the front. At the back of the eye it's addressing the problem of age-related degeneration and at the front of the eye it's addressing the problems of uh, being able to see an image clearly and both of these are addressable by using special lasers.